Hey guys, today on JD Cars, we'll be installing M3 style side skirts on my BMW F30. So welcome guys to the fourth and final part of this M3 style conversion on my BMW F30 335i. As you can see, I've already installed the front bumper. I just got done installing the new M3 style fenders. I'm still waiting on my fender vent trim here on the sides because probably gonna be going with a black or carbon fiber trim. And I also installed the M3 style rear bumper and I also welded up a custom quad carbon fiber exhaust. Those were all really exciting videos, so if you haven't seen them yet, be sure to go on my channel and check them out. This is actually the first part of the M3 style conversion that I won't be using the Max Jax lift. I'm just gonna work on the car right in the driveway here. I'm gonna grab a moving cloth to lay down on next to the car. So for this job, you'll be needing an impact driver or a drill, a T30 Torx bit, and a right angle adapter is a must for this install. It's absolutely crucial to accessing the Torx screws underneath the car. So we'll get this contraption hooked up like so. And the reason we need this is because the screws we're accessing are underneath the car here and it's almost impossible to get a drill underneath there. This right angle adapter makes the job a lot easier. I'll show you the screws we're removing. We're removing these plastic T30 Torx screws. There's a whole bunch of them that go down along the car underneath the side skirt here. They are plastic, so be careful with them. And again, I can't stress enough how crucial this right angle driver is. It makes this job go really quick, and I've actually found it quite helpful for a number of other jobs, including installing my rear bumper, front bumper, so definitely pick one of these up. I'll have a link to one in the description below. So to be precise, there are 11 of these T30 Torx screws. Once we have them out, come over to the front of your side skirt here and you begin to pop it off like so. And excuse the dust on the new side skirt on the right here, but here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. Old side skirt on the left and the new one on the right. It's difficult to see on camera. The new one has a much more aggressive shape to it. It'll be easier to see once we have it on the car. So I'll take on your side skirt here. We'll begin at the back end here. Pull back our little fender liner here and we want to tuck the bottom lip in between this metal part of the car and the flexible plastic belly pan. And now we'll just begin clipping it into place. Now we just have to pop back in our 11 T30 Torx screws. I'm not sure if these are actually designed to work like this, but these plastic screws can actually just pop right into the threads, sort of like a rivet. I've done it a couple times now, removing the side skirts for other jobs, and it doesn't seem to be damaging the threads. And just like that, our new side skirts are installed. All right, it's starting to rain. I gotta wrap up this video. I hope the lighting was decent enough to get you some good shots of these new side skirts. I absolutely love the look of them. They completely tie together this new M3 style conversion, tying it in from the front bumper into the fenders, down the side skirts, and to that new rear bumper. It really completes the look, and I'm glad that I opted to buy those in addition to the M3 style bumpers. The fitment came out perfectly. I'll give you guys a look here. and all the holes underneath for those T30 screws. They lined up perfectly as well, so I really couldn't be happier with how these turned out. As I may have mentioned earlier, I did get side skirt extensions, but that's gonna wait for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out my M3 style front bumper, rear bumper, and front fender videos to learn more about how I did this conversion. Also, if you're interested in any of these parts, be sure to check out keysmotorsports.com. 
linked below, as well as the Keys Motorsports YouTube channel because Brian from Keys Motorsports creates very informative BMW videos and there's a lot to be learned from his channel. So definitely go check out his channel below. Other than that, please leave a like below. It really helps me out with making these videos and be sure to use discount code 10% off 2019 at jd-cars.com for your JD Cars merch. Hit that subscribe button for more BMW content and I'll see you guys next time on JD Cars.